Hey, what's going on everybody? Brando Free to Play back on my account. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the results from uh, the most recent uh, Hunters KVK or KVK or KVKVKVK. Some people like to call it. <clears throat> so let's take a look at the results. Now, unfortunately, Kingdom 81 was defeated. All right, let's come on. All right. So it looks like uh, Kingdom 77 and 68 were able to get more points than Kingdom 81. Kingdom 84 was in last place. So yeah, it is what it is. Let's look at the Guild War ranking. So we have cause and effect with uh, 1.02 billion points. And then followed by uh, Kingdom 77, uh, TH, 68, MCD, 77, LB1, Kingdom 77, UF, followed by Kingdom 81's WIB. They are a new guild that has come to Kingdom 81. And uh, CAD topping out the top 10. Go ahead and look at the Solo War rankings. I am unranked in the Solo War rankings page. Uh, you know. You can just see here, pretty good. Now let's look at the Guild War rankings. So I am currently at rank 26 with 29.7 million points. We have other members like Lady Callista. I know Malchick was in top three. Uh, he, he left Guild and came back. So his score kind of reset, uh, but uh, he had over 100 million points as well. Yeah, a lot of people did pretty good. They went pretty, pretty all out in, in the KVK. Let's just take a look at the overall, the top ranking kingdom in the entire 200 and something server kingdoms that they have now. Um, as you can see, uh, top, top kingdoms are, you know, really only one is a new kingdom, which is Kingdom 1, which I'm actually very surprised. Looks like Kingdom 1 is still fairly active. You know? But look at all these uh, Kingdom 57, Kingdom 25, all still fairly active. Right? So good job on their end. And then we have uh, BRR, no surprise, at the top spot. Followed by M, and then LH9, closely right behind them for third place. Yep, yeah, look at all that. Nice, nice scores, nice scores. And then we got the solo point ranking. Now this is kind of, this is amazing to me. I mean, just look at that, 1.2 billion points. Just this one person alone got that many points. I mean, this person must have had four bases or had every single, was commanding every single fort in a base in their hunted kingdom and then attacked nonstop. I mean, that amount of points is just insane. So let's actually get into some of the uh, some of the battle reports that I have saved. Let's see here. Um, oh, here we go. So as you guys know, if you guys were on the stream or you guys have watched the stream, right out the bat, I went ahead and I started attacking tiles because those are pretty fast and easy kills and points, right? over uh, almost uh, 3 million might drop compared to only 50k so not only are these easy points in easy kills usually they don't send a leader out with these attacks or with these uh, gathering tiles right now this one almost 4 million might drop and then this one was a painful hit to, to watch right 150,000 troops dead now, if, if you guys watched my my guide for KVK, I mentioned resource tiles and how important it is to always be watching your resource tiles because you, you can easily have somebody poured in to a resource tile and attack and within 15 seconds at the most, that attack will hit. Right? So you always have to be watching your troops because in 15 seconds, hey, this could be you. And I know that 
For most players, especially free-to-play players, 150,000 troops? That is not easy to recover. Not easy at all. Let's go ahead and keep on looking. So most of these attacks are not too impressive, but they do add up. Okay? All these points add up. You know, capturing leaders, you know, getting kills. You know, people that just either ignored the notifications that KVK was starting, didn't shelter, didn't do anything. You know, it happened. And then you have this person that apparently looks like somebody else already hit some uh, some uh, veins or some resource tiles or his castle directly. And then I hit him and all his troops ended up being dead. Dead troops. That's something that on the receiving end you never want to see. But it happens. See here, nothing there. I don't think this is impressive. Oh, wait, 200,000 troops, but if you take a look at this, it's just 200,000. If I found more of his troops, I would have begun to zero out his, uh, his uh, castle pretty much from troops because his beds would have been full. Now this guy. Uh, let's see. Let's see what this guy had. Let's see why why this guy took so much. Ah, this person also had T4. So I think that's what it was. I mean, just look look at look at the amount of T4 that he has to heal. That right there is what over ninety thousand T4. And then in the next hit, he has to add another hundred, about a hundred and ten, hundred something thousand uh, T4 that he's gonna have to heal which is not cheap not cheap at all so i kind of feel bad for this for this uh for these hits because i mean i know how much it costs to heal t4 and i really don't know if he healed up or not i mean this is who he is and yeah pretty interesting pretty pretty interesting hit uh attacking some more some more resource tiles uh even more resource tiles right now this hit, this hit was interesting because I remember this hit was posted up on world chat, on global chat, right? And somebody scouted it and said, hey, you have 200 and something thousand T3 in this resource tile. So I put it in and I sent an attack, but at the same time, somebody else put it in from Kingdom 81 and also sent an attack. Now, I don't know what happened, or why this happened, but take a look at this. The person who also sent the attack, I'm a chicken, didn't recall after he saw my troops leaving. And he hit my troops that were in the field. And it was not a pretty hit. I mean, that that hurt. That That's that's a painful hit to watch right I almost captured his leader just off of that right that that was not that that was not a nice hit right you can take a look at this guy's mind um, he's not a t4 player yet right his gear is pretty pretty good but he is, I countered him in the flanks department. If he used infantry failings, he might have damaged me a bit more. But since I'm on a tile, all of the troops that I'm sending are going to be wounded. They're, I'm not going to have any dead troops because my infirmaries are not full. So, yeah. Anyway, let's just keep on looking at some of these other attacks, see if I find anything that was somewhat worthwhile, right? I did gather quite a bit of resources, this KVK. I did get quite a bit. I've used them all up now, but uh, gathered quite a bit. And uh, this past KVK actually reached a pretty big milestone. Um, I went over 100 million kills. That's a free-to-play player. That's a lot of kills. And that's a lot of dead troops. Let's see what kind of troops he lost. Ugh. That, that hurts. 55... 56,000 T3 dead. Ugh. And another 15,000 
Yep, another 15. Wow, so over 60,000 T3 dead. That's painful to see right there. Let's see this person. Yep, okay, next. Next. Let's see here. Nothing too impressive, right? Wait, what is this? Let's see. T3 and T1. All right. Yeah, nothing impressive here as well. Let's keep on going. Uh, 50,000 troops. They're, they're just sitting out there. Uh, rich veins. And I think I'm almost done for the, some of these battle reports. I mean, not too impressive, but uh, yeah, I mean, some of these hits, they were painful to see. I mean, look at that. two Over 200,000 T3 wounded. That's not cheap to heal either, right? Look at this. Somebody was gathering. Look, see, see, somebody's gathering with tier four troops. That's probably the only reason why I didn't zero out this tile because he had some uh, siege left over. I mean, not siege, cannoneers left over. Because I wiped out his cannoneers, his drakes, his royal guards, wiped all of that out. And the only thing left were his cannoneers. I'm pretty sure if I countered instead of using ranged, if I used cavalry, I probably would have zeroed everything out a lot faster. But I mean, it is what it is. Let's take a look at this guy's might. Let's see if he if if he should know any better, right? Oh god, this thing's taking forever to load. Why are you not loading? Load. Okay, come on. Come on. 153 million might and only 3 million kills. Well, what do you expect from somebody that doesn't really attack? I mean, this is kind of a waste of an account. 50, 100 and something million might and only 3 million kills. <sighs> this guy. Uh, and his resources gathered isn't that impressive either. I mean, this is just money who just... This is just a person who just threw money at the game. Really, that's... That no resources sent. I mean, that's, that's embarrassing. Seriously. If you're watching this video, feel bad for yourself. And then I attacked his tile again, because I wanted to. <laughs> Now this attack, let me see. Let's take a look at this guy. Let's, what's this guy's might? So he's almost T4 based on his might. Alright, so I attacked him. He only had 334,000 infirmary space. And I killed 69,000 of his troops right off the bat. Only 62 survived. Now what did this person do? He tried to hide his troops by sending them away to a camp. Now what did I do? I teleported to that camp's location and then ran them out to make sure that his troops attacked my castle. And since his infirmaries were already filled, all of the rest of his remaining troops were also dead. So in total, he lost about 120-something thousand T3 in these attacks. For Unfortunately, I didn't get his leader. All right, he didn't even damage my wall. He just destroyed a handful of traps. All right. Then I attacked his strip again because I saw he his some of his fort reinforcements were marching back. So I waited about a couple minutes and he didn't heal up or recover any of his wounded troops so when I attacked them again he lost another 65,000 troops so he's at about 180,000 dead t3 and that's not easy to recover not at all right yeah, you can take a look at this this was one of my last attacks I think if I'm not mistaken I saw in Lady Callista's video that Lady Callista actually captured this person's leader if I'm not mistaken um, after I attacked this person so this person kept on a, kept on fighting even after this hit 
So, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. So, right now, I have 103 million kills. So, this KVK went up about 5 million kills. I was at around 98 million kills before the KVK started. Now, I'm at 103 million kills as a free-to-play player. Now, that's a pretty huge milestone. If you're a free-to-play player, like a legit free-to-play player, you guys know how hard it is to get kills, right? Because you join rallies and you get some kills that way, but you're you're losing troops every time you join a rally. If you solo people, hey, you have the risk of hitting a trap or hitting somebody and you're, you're pretty much your march being wiped out. I mean, it's, it's not easy. But, you know, after almost 500 and... 80 something oh, after 580 something days it's finally able to hit that milestone so yeah i mean i hope you guys enjoyed this video i in my next guide video i'm going to be making two this week i'm going to be making one talking about guild fest and what kind of quests you guys should be focusing on to get the most amount of points possible and the second thing i'm going to talk about is talents what kind of talents should you be using for attacking all right hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time